I'm chiming in. Hi, I'm Kim. She's chiming in, everybody. <laughs> I'm Karen, and this is... No Filter Career Advice. Okay, so this one today is about the alternatives of the four-year degree. And we want to kind of put a caveat out there, um, first of all, um, because you guys know what's best for you, okay? Your parents have raised you, and they have expectations and wants and needs for your um, life after high school. So we're not saying anything that you should or shouldn't do after high school as far as your education and what you're planning for your future. What we're trying to do is just expose you to different opportunities. So the first one I want to talk about is the fact that there are some perfectly great community colleges close to us where you can earn stackable credentials and an associate's degree that is a fraction of the cost. Because it is crazy how much school costs nowadays. Well, even a four-year degree at a community college is a fraction of the cost of a four-year degree at a university. of the cost. Yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, so you know, you've got to consider these community colleges and these stackable credentials where you can actually go out to work and earn money and uh, you know take credits that are going to get you to the next level of your education. So please consider that. And the good news is, is that the government knows that we need to make that available to everybody. So they are starting to put in place free community college for people that are coming straight out of high school and want that opportunity before they go into a four-year degree program. So look out for that. There's many, many of those. And on our blog, it talks about examples, yeah. how much money you're going to save, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and it's called Michigan Opportunity in the, in the state of Michigan. I'm sure across the country, there are many other opportunities where college will be paid for, for you at a community college level. Next one is my favorite because my father is a, uh, well, he's a carpenter, tradesman, has been for his entire life. And uh, so apprenticeships, trade schools, vocational schools, this is, this is my jam because we need more of you to go into this area because if you are complaining about your air conditioning at work or at school, you have no business to call, you know, worry about that and get upset about that if you're not willing to maybe learn how to fix the you know uh, what am I trying to say the the system like if you're not willing to fix it don't complain about it because there's people that need to go into HVAC there's people that need to be linesmen that climb up those poles and make sure our electricity still work we need people that are willing to do this and trained to do it. Who like it, who like people who like working with your yeah, hands, of exactly. academics, and, a, and, a, and sitting in an office, you know, eight, not nine, ten thing. hours a day is not your thing, then awesome. Right. So apprenticeships, trade schools, vocational schools, and then there's these things, again, in the state of Michigan, it's called Matt Squared, where they will employ you to work at a company. So you're working at a company, they'll pay for your college um, classes, while you're working and they give you stipends. So you're getting an hourly rate, a stipend, and, and your college paid for um, while you're working for a company. Um, so again, on the website, we've got lots of examples. We've got a link that takes you out to a website where all these opportunities are available to you. So you can pretty much have all your schooling taken care of while you're earning an hourly rate. And I'm t not talking about minimum wage here, people. I'm talking about $18, $24, $32 an hour um, learning on the job, on the job training. So that's the apprenticeships, trade schools and vocational schools. And then um, the armed forces, mm -hmm. uh, again, close to my heart. Um, I've had opportunities to go down to Paris Island and look at the training that they receive down there um, with the Marines. And it is second to none training. You get to travel the world. Your college education will be paid for for the rest of your life, whatever level that you're looking for. Um, there's so many opportunities yeah. in the military, and you're not all of you are not going to go on the front line, my friends. Okay, we need people behind the scenes mm -hmm. in cybersecurity. We need to protect our country. Uh, we need people that logistically are getting people from place to place. So, 
think about it, and again, I'm not going against what your mum and dad say, I'm not going against what your heart tells you, I'm just saying there's opportunities and uh, we need to thank people for their service if, we, if they do go into this area in any of the armed forces. And then another one which is kind of cool and I do encourage all the time is the gap year, the Peace Corps, travel abroad opportunities, study abroad opportunities, teaching English overseas, teaching English mm -hmm. overseas. oh my gosh, if you ever have the opportunity to volunteer overseas, do it, mm -hmm. don't even hesitate. Most of these programs are fully paid for for you to go, you're just giving your time and your energy. Um, when I was in school, I was an au pair every summer and I came out to Rhode Island and Ohio and I worked as an au pair for children from the age of six months up to 11 years of age. And if uh, any of my kids are out there, I'm giving you a shout out right now because you're all grown ass adults now and doing mighty <laughs> fine in life. And it's wonderful to watch you on Facebook. It's just super cool. But you know, if you get the chance, don't ever poo poo the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Go, get yourself a passport, travel the world, come back with these expertise that you can and share. A new, and a different perspective. And a new, mm -hmm. and a new dis uh, mm -hmm. perspective, like you just said. So I guess the last word that I have really is, you know, look at the different opportunities that are out there. Um, talk to someone like us mm -hmm. so we can make a plan because at the end of the day, all we want you to do is finish high school or finish uh, a college program and move on to the next level, the next level. And we just want you to have a plan in yeah. place and just see be what's open. out there. Just be open. Don't um, don't be really sucked into all the noise that's going on around you right. um, or feel peer pressure to do something um, with before you have like looked at all your other options. That's right. And my last, my last thing too, because this happens all the time, if you're ever offered a full ride scholarship somewhere because you're just incredible, a full ride, this happens every single year with my student, please consider taking it even if it's not your dream school. Mm -hmm. Because your undergraduate, doesn't matter where you do it or what subject you do it in, okay, if it's paid for, you're gonna naturally go on to a master's degree and beyond anyway. So pay for that. Yeah. Don't don't poo poo it and say, oh, it's not my dream school. I can't go there, and it's okay. I can waste a hundred thousand dollars. My parents are rich enough to to you know absorb the cost. Please don't like mm -hmm. honestly. That is an opportunity of a lifetime, yourself. and get okay. over yourself and just take it mm -hmm. and love free it. Free money. Always take free money. Always, always. So that's right. it. Alternative to the four year degree. We have wrapped it up. We put a bow on it, stuck it on no career, um, yes. no filter career advice. It's all there for you. And mm -hmm. again, you can reach out to us anytime yep. and we'll gladly help you. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Cheerio. Bye.